Exciting news is here! The IRS has just announced an unexpected boost for individuals receiving Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits an extra payment of $2,000. This additional financial support comes as welcome relief for many who rely on these benefits for their day-to-day -day expenses. In this video, we break down all the essential details surrounding this special stimulus check, ensuring you're fully informed and ready to make the most of this opportunity. First things first, who qualifies for this extra payment? We'll clarify the eligibility criteria, ensuring you know if you're among those set to receive this much needed financial assistance. Timing is crucial, so we'll outline when and how these payments will be distributed. Understanding the process ensures you're prepared and know what to expect in the coming weeks. You don't want to miss out on this extra support, so we'll provide clear steps to ensure you receive your $2,000 stimulus check without any hiccups. From updating your information to tracking your payment, we've got you covered. We'll delve into the finer points, addressing common questions and concerns surrounding eligibility, payment distribution, and more. It's essential to have all the facts to make informed decisions about your finances. Attention seniors and those receiving federal benefits major news just broke that could put extra cash in your pocket this June. The IRS has announced plans to release one-time $2,000 stimulus payments to millions of Americans receiving Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits. But there are strict eligibility requirements and deadlines you need to know about. Stay tuned as we break down all the details on who qualifies, how to claim your money, and why the government is sending out these surprise stimulus checks right now. Let's start with the basics what exactly is being offered here. According to the IRS statement released late last night, the agency will be issuing supplemental stimulus payments of $2,000 to Americans currently collecting Social Security Retirement Benefits, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, or VA Pension, Disability Benefits. This payment is officially being called an Emergency Federal Beneficiary Relief Payment and is separate from your regular monthly benefit amounts. It's a one-time lump sum that aims to help offset the hardships caused by high inflation and soaring costs of living over the past couple years. As of now, the anticipated payment date for when these $2,000 checks will start hitting bank accounts is set for June 23 Road, 2024. But there are income limits and other eligibility criteria that kick in. Okay, now for the big question who exactly qualifies for these surprise $2,000 federal beneficiary payments? Well, according to the IRS guidelines, you must have been receiving Social Security Retirement Benefits, SSDI, SSI, or VA Pension, Disability Compensation as of December 2023. So recent new recipients in 2024 would be excluded. Next, and this is crucial, there are income limits based on your 2022 adjusted gross income from your tax return. For single tax filers, your AGI cannot exceed $75,000 to get the full $2,000 payment. For married couples filing jointly, the income cap is $150,000 AGI. If you exceed those income thresholds slightly, you may still qualify for a reduced payment amount. Single filers with AGIs between $75,000 and $99,000 would get $1,000. Married joint filers with AGIs of $150,000 to $198,000 also receive $1,000 each. Anyone above $99,000, single, or $198,000, married filing jointly, in 2022 AGI would unfortunately be ineligible. There are also some other qualifying factors such as having a valid social security number, not being claimed as a dependent on someone else's tax return in 2022, and having a bank account on file for electronic payment delivery. So now that we've covered who qualifies, what are the next steps to actually claim and receive your payment if you're eligible? Well, the good news is that for the vast majority of current beneficiaries, you won't need to take any action or fill out extra forms. The IRS says it will be using data already on file from your 2022 tax returns and benefit payment information to determine eligibility and distribute the payments automatically. As long as you have a bank account associated with your federal benefits and met the income criteria from your most recent tax filing, that $2,000 payment will just show up in your account on or around June 23 Road. 
There is one exception though if you started receiving benefits in 2023 or had a change in income, dependent status between 2022 and now that could impact your eligibility, you'll need to submit a simplified return to the IRS to verify your qualification by the June 1 street deadline. But for current federal beneficiaries with no major changes, you should receive these stimulus payments automatically by late June without any action required. Just be on the lookout for an IRS letter in the mail confirming your eligibility status in the next few weeks. But the biggest remaining question is why now? Why is the federal government sending out these one-time emergency stimulus checks to beneficiaries? Well, the primary stated motivation is to provide financial relief from decades-high inflation and soaring living costs over the past couple years. While Social Security benefits did increase for the 2023 and 2024 cycles, those adjustments aim to cover inflation from the previous year. But with inflation rates remaining stubbornly high in early 2024, the Biden administration faced mounting pressure to provide additional aid targeted at seniors and lower-income Americans on fixed incomes. Beyond inflation relief though, there are reportedly also some underlying political motives at play. Biden and Democrats face a tough 2024 election cycle and are looking for any policy wins they can get to tout on the campaign trail, especially with the senior voter demographic that swings key swing states. These stimulus payments could be viewed as attempting to shore up support among this crucial voting bloc by putting cash in retirees' and veterans' pockets. Republicans looking to retake the White House will surely question the timing and motives behind the spending blitz. So while the payments are framed as a helping hand to aid struggling Americans, there's no question there are also political calculations being made on both sides. All right, let's quickly recap the key takeaways one-time emergency payments of up to $2,000 going out to Social Security, SSDI, SSI, and VA beneficiaries, with income limits of $75 K for singles and $150 K for married couples to get the full amount. Payments scheduled for late June 2024. Most current beneficiaries will receive them automatically, new recipients in 2023 need to verify eligibility. The stated goal is to provide inflation relief for seniors, disabled on fixed incomes, but it also has political motivations for the Biden administration heading into 2024 elections. If you're a lower or middle income American currently receiving federal benefits, this could provide a nice temporary financial boost to your household. Every bit of extra cash helps when prices keep rising on necessities. To maximize your chances of getting this payment smoothly, go ahead and get your 2022 tax return filed if you haven't already. Make sure your bank account info is updated with your current details. We'll be posting an update video next week with more specifics on the procedures for new beneficiaries and anyone with a change in income or dependent status. Here's a continuation of the content in paragraph form. You, while these one-time $2,000 stimulus payments will certainly be welcomed by millions of seniors, disabled individuals, and low-income households, the overall impact is somewhat limited in scope. Critics argue that the strict income limits leave out many in the middle class who are also struggling with the high costs of inflation. There are no provisions for dependents or families with children receiving assistance either. Additionally, Detractors view these checks as more of a band-aid solution rather than addressing the root causes of persistent inflation and eroding purchasing power. Anti-poverty advocates have pushed for supplemental payments to be recurring on a quarterly or annual basis to have a lasting effect. However, the Biden administration opted against that route due to the projected costs involved. From a fiscal standpoint, committing over $200 billion in new federal spending is no small feat in the current economic climate. With concerns over a potential recession looming, ballooning deficits, and a debt ceiling standoff with Republicans in Congress, the administration will surely face scrutiny over the financial prudence of such a massive cash outlay. Proponents though insist that targeted stimulus for society's most vulnerable is an investment that pays dividends through increased consumer spending and economic activity. With Social Security's annual cost of living adjustments struggling to keep pace lately, they argue this payment can help retirees and the disabled make ends meet in the short term. It's also worth noting that while the current eligibility is limited to Social Security, SSDI, SSI and VA beneficiaries, 
the payments are essentially an extension of the numerous stimulus checks and tax credits issued during the COVID-19 pandemic to aid Americans financially impacted by that crisis. So, in that regard, this new stimulus has precedence, even if arguably less justification based on the public health emergency that sparked prior rounds of relief. Only time will tell what tangible impact, if any, these fresh $2,000 checks will have on inflation, consumer confidence and voters' sentiments heading into next year's presidential election. But they have undoubtedly reignited the fierce political debate around the scope, cost and merits of direct federal payments to citizens as an economic palliative.